Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do another Photoshop tutorial on how I edited this image. So here's the before, here's the after, and I've had a lot of <clears throat> you guys ask me how I did um, retouch this image. So I decided to do a quick little tutorial for you guys. So let's get started. Um, the first thing you want to do is just make sure that this uh, your image is open in camera raw. You're going to want to duplicate your background layer. And then I usually just start working on my blemishes and skin retouching as as it is right now as far as exposure goes. But if you did need to, you know, fix up your exposure first and whatnot, you'll just want to go to filter, camera raw filter. And then this is where you can uh, just kind of, um, you know, fix up your lighting and whatnot according to how you need it. So I'm going to click out of that. Okay, so let's get started. First, I start on my skin work. And in this particular image, I'm going to use my patch tool. I will not be using frequency separation in this one, although that I do. Uh, use that technique, um, but not on every image. And I do have other videos where I've done Photoshop tutorial what I did uh, that I did use that technique as well. So I'll make sure I link it in my description. So I'm gonna go ahead and what you want to do is you want to just select the area. Let me zoom it in more. What you want to do is just select the area you want to remove and then you just want to move your mouse over on a clean texture okay and then you just want to keep doing that and because the lighting here is very like super light it kind of like removes the skin texture a little bit i would say but what i noticed is um if you're using a mac and the exposure is proper, sometimes the patch tool could um, be a little bit too, I don't know how to explain it, like it doesn't, the, the amount of texture that it grabs might be a little bit too much or it doesn't match. So in that case, what you can do is just lower your opacity here. And I usually lower it to like 70, you know, 80, something like that. But in this case, I don't have to worry about that. If you are using um, Windows, uh, which I used to use that, I didn't have that problem. So we're going to go ahead and just remove all the blemishes, um, lines, and I'm going to just do that on the whole entire image. Always come when I need you Okay, so this is going to be pretty good for now, so you guys can see the before and the after. And then the next thing that I want to do is want to remove like the slink wrinkle here. Um, as you can see, that's the image or the after image because it's just a little bit too um, strong. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to work on that on a separate layer. So we're going to just duplicate that layer. So now you're just working on a new layer. And then what you want to do is you want to select this whole area up to the nose. And then you just want to move it up. Okay. You see what happens? Now there is like another line here. But what I usually do is because then it's just going to look like super unnatural. You want to just take your um, opacity and you want to lower it a little bit. And you want to just bring that line just slightly back. Uh, but not too much, just like that. 
can see how much better that is. And then I think there's another line down here. I'm do the same thing. And just remove it. And then there's also one on this side. So you just want to go ahead and just remove that line. Just like that. Another, you can also remove the wrinkle under the eye. I think I might have done it here. I can't remember. I don't think I've done much because I want to keep it natural, but you can also remove just that bottom part, just where the shadow is on both eyes. Okay, that's going to work for now. Okay, so with the skin work, I'm going to actually come back to it because I'm going to just adjust some coloring and then bring, you know, tone it a little bit darker and then I'll be able to see some more blemishes that I can work on. And then you know, you want to, of course, remove some here on the arm as well. So I'm going to go ahead and flatten my image and just start on a new layer. So then I'm going to duplicate the background layer and then just select and remove. And then of course I worked on all that skin here as well. I'm not going to get too much into it just because that's a lot of skin work but I also did some removal on the skin as well. Okay, there we go. Remove some skin. Another thing is she had this little like white from her shirt sticking out. All you want to do is just clone that. So you want to duplicate the layer, go to your clone stamp tool, and then you want to just select and for example, I can select this section here. You want to click option if you're on a Mac and all if you're on a PC and then just right click to select and then just move down. You see what happens? And then it actually automatically will just kind of follow along with it. And then I just select some green there. All you have to do is just grab your eraser tool and just kind of, you know, erase over it. So that's going to be pretty good. Um, so let's go ahead and just work on some colors. So I get the, this, these tones and effects. And then I actually go back and just do some more skin work. Oh, another thing that I did is I removed, I cloned this hair piece as well. So just little things, um, the nails, oh, I completely forgot I did clone the nails. So little things like that, let me go ahead and do it. You want to pay attention to everything and just kind of try to clean up the image as much as you can. The thing you just want to alt tab or alt select and then just uh, move it over. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the coloring. I'm going to go ahead and flatten this image. Okay, so the first thing that I do is, this is a technique Jessica Cabasi uses. It's basically what it does is it contrasts the image and it makes it, it's just a more per, of a professional type of contrast. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. So you want to just click on this little circle here and then you want to go to black and white. You're going to select tint. And then you're going to take your reds, you're going to go to negative 76, and then you're going to take your yellows and you're going to go to about 82. I know this looks scary, but we're not done yet. So then you want to go to uh, this area here, your layer, and you're going to switch it to soft light. And then you're going to take your opacity and you're just going to lower it. You're going to go to like, um, I think I had it on maybe 18%, 20%. 
just like that. And then the next thing is the curves layer. And then this is also a technique Jessica uses that I really, really like. And I seriously started to just use it on all my images. It's your curves layer. So when you, you know, select here the, the uh, circle again, go to curves. And instead of just, you know, just playing around with like that, you see that's another thing that I, don't, I didn't like about the curves. It makes the images kind of too contrasty. So what she does is she takes this um, layer and she switches it to luminosity. And then you go back to the curves and then that's when you make your adjustments. So see what it does? It just gives it more of like a softer, like a kind of like a softer, more of a look. And it almost looks like she had like maybe a flash used on her, like just the way she highlights the face. Um, on her images so it kind of gives it a very so you just want to play around like I think I had it like that maybe had the background lower so you just want to keep playing around however long you want to just see what you can come up with and again like I mentioned before ever since I seen Jessica do this I literally just do on all my edits this curves with the luminosity is is all I really use. Sometimes I don't even add any other filter. I just use this curves layer to kind of play around. So I think that's kind of how I had it. So I'm going to leave it at that. So here's the before and then here's the after. You see what a difference it does. So here was the image. And then here's mine. And then after I played around with the curves layer, I'm going to go ahead and flatten the image. And then I continue to do more skin work. That way now that I have the colors kind of adjusted how I want them, then you can go ahead and go back and just do additional retouching on the skin. Okay, so I just cleaned up just some more blemishes. And then the next thing I want to do is just even out her skin tone. So I'm going to duplicate the layer. I'm going to go to the brush tool. I'm going to zoom it in. I'm going to keep the opacity low at about 14%. We're going to go ahead and select the area. And then we're going to color over. And then you just want to keep selecting. And then you want to clean it up under the eye, kind of lighten up under her eye. And then I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the layer. And then that's when you could see if there's maybe any other additional other blemishes you can work on. And usually that's when I'll work kind of zoomed out. Because when you get too close, you kind of, sometimes it's hard to see where you need to work on. So then just go around and just clean up any additional um, blemishes that you can. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just stop right here. I think you guys kind of get the idea. Um, obviously, I'm not, I'm still not completely done, but this is gonna be good enough. And then the last thing that I did was I did my final retouching in Camera Raw. So you're gonna want to go to Filter, Camera Raw Filter. So then this is where I kind of 
you know, adjust it more. You can go warmer, you can go cooler. I think I went a little bit maybe cooler. Negative one. So here's the image. Let's see how it's looking. It's still a little bit, well, obviously I did a lot more face retouching here. And I think I'm going to go back to curves, some additional retouching. Okay, so here's before and after. So as you can see, here's the original image, here's the before. So I mean, I got it pretty close. Obviously, a lot more skin retouching needs to be done. So that's just kind of me going back and forth with the skin. It's almost like a constant, like between my coloring, this and that, I'm finding other places where I can fix up her skin. And so this is why she looks so retouched in this one. She doesn't as much. Just because I could be sitting here hours and hours of retouching. So you kind of just want to go back and forth. Like obviously this part's a lot, you know, darker. So you just want to um, flatten this. So, you know, you just want to obviously lighten that. So just select it with your brush tool and lighten over. You know, I think this part here I lightened a lot too just because it wasn't looking right. So little things like that here, I can still see some skin work, but it's just like so much that it's like, I can't do it all in one tutorial, but that kind of gives you guys an idea exactly of what I do and how I retouch. So I hope this helps you guys. The very last thing is you just want to sharpen your image. And I have a preset for that that's saved in my actions. I did do a separate tutorial on how I sharpen my images that you guys can also check out for that. That's going to be in the link below. Otherwise, yeah, just let me know what you guys think or if this was, you know, helpful at all. And that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.